You might ask, what is kinesiology? Well, I'll tell you. It is the science dealing with the interrelationships of the psychological process and anatomy of the human body with respect to movement. I'm Dr. Jonathan Dugas, and I teach advanced exercise physiology, advanced fitness assessment, and statistical methods in kinesiology. Kinesiology, the study of body movement. Well, the kinesiology department here at UIC, actually kinesiology nutrition, is quite a unique department because we've got both nutrition and kinesiology under one roof. And that's something you don't find often uh, in academia. Normally you have one or the other. So from that standpoint, I think it's quite a special opportunity because uh, the students can kind of cross over into either class. They've got a lot more faculty that are available to them uh, for independent studies, for finding a little bit extra about different topics. Because inevitably, a lot of those areas, especially in kinesiology, nutrition also plays quite a big role. So to have access to that really makes it a unique department. Well, the really exciting thing about studying kinesiology and nutrition and being a part of our department here is that I find most of the students are really drawn, especially to human movement studies, because they have some kind of uh, inherent interest in exercise or fitness or health promotion. And most of those interests are driven by very personal experiences. So they might be competitive athletes themselves. They might have family members who have chronic lifestyle diseases. Uh, they might have relatives or friends that have disabilities and are active. But all of the personal experiences drive them to want to learn more about human movement and the physiology of exercise and the mechanics of control and things like that. So our student body is, is I think, quite different than typical student bodies in most other departments and that they come with a lot of passion uh, with regards to why they want to study kinesiology and nutrition. I think our department really has an advantage for students uh, in preparing them for a real variety of future endeavors, be it professional school or graduate school or just going on to work after their degree. And that's mostly because we have a very diverse uh, faculty that they have access to. In addition to that, we are an applied science which means that you can take the things you learn in our department straight into the real world. And by picking up some basic sciences along the way, it gives you a very integrated approach. And in basic science, you can boil things down to one particular point, but in the real world, it's all applied and integrated. So the advantage of coming to a program like we have in kinesiology nutrition is that almost by default, you get the integration because you don't focus just in one particular discipline. You actually find lots of information under all of the different areas of kinesiology and nutrition. So it's quite a diverse background that you get coming through our department, and I think that bodes well for a lot of different uh, opportunities for the future for the students. So one of the funnest things, I think, particularly in the classes that, that I teach, my exercise physiology class, is that uh, contrary to kind of more traditional labs, uh, when they do the lab activities in, in this class, they actually get a real live breathing cyclist to test. So what happens is they have someone that comes in, a cyclist most likely on the UIC cycling team, and they actually serve as a subject for those students throughout the semester. And they perform a series of physiological and exercise tests and performance tests on them. And it's an ongoing activity so that they watch this person uh, pre-test, they watch them go through training, and then measure those changes in performance after training. So in some ways, it's, uh, they have their own real-life athlete 
to kind of touch and feel and test. And uh, I think that's quite a unique uh, opportunity. It's, it's uh, been well received by the students and generally have a lot of fun with it. So a really funny uh, anecdote that I like to tell my students, particularly when I'm teaching them um, about post-exercise collapse because of low blood pressure. I've had a couple of uh, fainting episodes following very intense exercise. And uh, one was after a very long ride on a stationary bike like this one. And uh, I stood up and really felt quite lightheaded. Luckily, the students saw me getting lightheaded and uh, came over and, and, and kept me from falling over. So instead of lying down and recovering, I quickly told them to grab the blood pressure cuff and come over and measure my blood pressure while I was standing up. In, in the end, it was a really good teaching moment, but uh, I always enjoy kind of sharing that with the students. Uh, as we learn that unit, and uh, I think the sight of their professor fainting in front of the class is always uh, something that's funny to them. Kinesiology the study of body movement.